Barkley. Tyler goes up the middle to the three. Check it, Bradford. It'll be another first down. They'll stop the clock with 1.15 to go. We want to remind those who just joined us here. Stanford went down the field, scored a touchdown in the fourth quarter, missed an extra point. And the way this football game has gone, volleying back and forth, you had the feeling that whoever had the ball last would win the football game, and that missed extra point looming all so big. Barkley with a chance to go over and talk to Lane Kiffin at the 115 mark. They had originally signaled first down, then they brought the chains out to measure to make sure it is first and goal. If you are joining us from that Florida State Miami game, here is the missed extra point that right now is a huge factor. Just yanked dead left. And Jim Harbaugh at the time knew how big that might be. USC came into this football game a good rushing football team. Bradford, 233 yards last week, just nailed them. Averaging 234 on the ground. Now Stanford's defense has bowed its neck in this game and kept them to about 106. Yeah, the only thing they can be reviewing here is the spot. The because reason, where they marked it is a first down. And the reason I, I bring that up, this is a tough area of the field when you've not been able to run the ball real well tonight. Stanford's rush defense has done a nice job. So it puts pressure on Barkley. But we saw it the last time they got down here short yardage goal line. They went with a formation where they put young little Robert Woods in a tight end position slot. Linebackers couldn't stay with him. An easy touchdown pass. Let's see if we can see where the mark might be. It's where the ball is when a knee touches down or another body part, and that is outside the three-yard line. Well, that is a very generous spot. But again, it has to be indisputable video evidence to overturn, to change a call on the field. This is, this is pretty easy to do. What officials do, they'll piece the two together. And in fact, from that After one, they can review, see where ruling it is. on the field stands. First down. Yeah. Holy cow. But I, I'm with you, Mike, I, on this, on the call. I'm with them. It has to be indisputable. They have to go with it. Now, well, know, when a guy's fanny goes down, where was close the ball, to the though, four yard the line, goes down, where's the ball? Well, the, yeah, to me, that was an easy call. He had it tucked. Boy, that's a tough call, but it's first and goal. May not have mattered anyway. Of the last time, as we were talking about, they made them sell out against the run and threw the touchdown pass. Bradford, the tailback. He'll get the carry. Picks his way. Touchdown! Holy cow! And now Southern California, an extra point away from taking the lead. If you're thinking ahead, Stanford has two timeouts and a minute 12. And they would only need a field goal. And a guy named Andrew Luck, perhaps the best quarterback in America. Plenty of time for Andrew Luck to take Stanford down the field. First and, things first. And one of the best, most explosive kick returners Three, in the country. He's already had on one big one. one. First point off a Stanford turnover tonight, and they had turned it over three times. Houston, the maligned field goal kicker, with a chance for an extra point to put his club ahead. And got it. Joe Houston out of Redondo Beach, California. Makes it 35-34 USC. I thought Bradford had a great game last week, over 200 yards rushing. His last two carries in this particular game were his most explosive, powerful runs. He finally showed up. Ten. Will it actually be the last team with the ball wins? Right now it is 35-34, Southern California over Stanford. 108 
to go in the game. Owusu, who is a very dangerous kick return man, waits at the two. Harfman to kick it away. Owusu three yards deep. Across the 20, 25, 